Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And this is going to be a Town Hall 10 version of this. Uh, before we get into it, I want to thank you guys for filling out the survey. Uh, all the answers I get really help decide uh, kind of what to do on the channel moving forward. Uh, it really plays a big part in shaping that. So thank you guys for that. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a little bit different than some of the other base destruction videos we've done. I'm going to start off with the scout attack. We'll take a look at that. And then for you Town Hall 10s out there, you can think about how you would have went about uh, taking out this base based on what you saw on the scout. So we'll watch the scout uh, just as it happened. It's Rigo, and he's going to do just kind of a typical uh, scout attack. I'm going to fast forward a little bit there. Uh, coming in with a little kill squad. Uh, golem, heroes, bowlers, a few, he uh, few healers, and uh, has a rage. Gonna let everything move in there, get some percentage. Uh, reveals the CC troops, which is a golem and a balloon. Uh, also secures the two star here, just in case we're not able to three star this base for some reason. Uh, so that's important too. But does some hogs on the bottom here uh, to clear out some more defenses, get some more percentage, reveal some ground traps. Uh, so you can see that the Teslas will reveal themselves in just a moment. All four of them kind of in each different uh, corner of the base um, that last one will pop up in just a moment I think once he gets 50% is when it pops up and then you can see two giant bombs have been revealed by the heroes right there uh, so that's another uh, feature of this base that we now know but uh, right here I think that third that fourth test that should pop um, we have all the other ones revealed at this point so anyway we'll go ahead and fast forward uh, that's the scout guys you can see where all the Teslas are, where a few of the giant bombs are. So for those of you Town Hall 10, this is your chance to pause the video. Think about how you would three-star this base, uh, and then compare that to what our next two attackers did. One of them uh, was not successful. The other one did get the three-star. So let's take a look at the plans those guys had and how it worked out for them. So just looking at this base in general, and all the traps were drawn in, by the way, there ended up being four giant bombs in there, possibly five. There might have been a fifth in this area or it could have been somewhere else. I actually didn't see it in any of the attacks. At least I didn't notice it. So uh, the main point is that there's a ton of giant bombs in the core here. But this is kind of a typical Town Hall 10 base that you see here with the Inferno compartments that have the two uh, buffer space around them in their own compartment, then a bunch of giant bombs in the center. Basically that's preventing you from just going from one Inferno to the other with like a mass bowler attack or something. So you have to be a little more creative than that. And that's where miners tend to come in on these types of bases because you can isolate one inferno tower with your kill squad. And if you can get like, let's say this inferno and then neutralize the core here, uh, your miners have a good chance of taking out the other half of the base, let's say on that side. Um, and bonus is if your kill squad gets even deeper in here and starts to take out stuff beyond the core. It just depends how it works out. So anyway, we'll take a look at two different plans. Both are hybrid attacks that incorporated miners which is going to be the standard against these types of bases. There are other ways you can do it, but typically miners for these standard Town Hall 10 bases that look like this. So anyway, the first plan was uh, by Cotton Eye Joe, and uh, he uh, you know, knows that there's two giant bombs in here. Maybe he can infer the other four are in there. Uh, not that important, though. Uh, drops down a few baby dragons for funneling to take out different things, uh, mainly to get his kill squad to enter in right here. Has a golem, a few, I think like a wizard or something for funneling. But since sends in that golem, sends in a group of Valks behind it. I think like six Valks and his heroes. Let's all of that move in right here. Has a jump, a rage, poisons for the CC troops. Gonna get in here, get the Inferno Tower taken out right here. Uh, neutralize this compartment. And then the idea is to send in some miners. And we've talked about sending your miners in adjacent to your kill squad. Uh, so they can tank for each other and you get that kind of overlapping value. Well, if you go by that logic, there's two places to send your miners in. You can send them in at this angle or you can send them in over kind of at this angle. And uh, they are, uh, um, at first glance, probably not that different. But it actually is en ends up being what's the difference between these two attacks when it comes to the final three star. So the first attacker, Cotton Eye Joe, goes ahead and sends them in on this route. And we'll talk about why that's not the best way to send them in, why sh you should send them in on the other side uh, once we look at the plan for the next attack. But the point is, uh, for, this, for this attack, he sends them in on the left side here, 
they start to take out these buildings, but there's a lot of space between them and that inferno. So they do start to thin out a little bit. The inferno kind of gets avoided. They go around it. Even though this baby dragon does help funnel a little bit, uh, they still kind of take the loop around it like this, and uh, they end up avoiding that inferno. The kill squad is not able to grab it. This expo takes down the queen right here, um, and things just kind of peter out because the miners can't deal with the inferno plus this part of the base still being left up. So we'll take a look at the attack, then we'll see just a small adjustment that was made to get the three star. So here is Cotton Eye Joe's attack. Uh, you can see he's going to start in with some baby dragons right here. That first one on the town hall, along with the minions up there, was good. I mean, for this plan, you want to keep your miners inside the base. So if you can funnel them in ahead of time, that's always good. Maybe didn't even need that baby dragon because the miners aren't, aren't coming in for another minute, uh, a minute and a half at least. So minions would have gotten the job done given the time. But besides that, has another baby dragon, a golem, like I said, to tank for those defenses. Questionable whether he needed that golem because the Valks get pretty far out in front. And the golem's really not taking for a whole lot. Just a few low-level point defense at the beginning there. So anyway, regardless, everything moving in has the jump, has the rage, the poisons. Going to let everything get in there. Get that Inferno Tower taken out. Get the queen. Get the giant bombs neutralized. The CC troops, actually the king too. So all of the important stuff for a minor attack goes down. Uh, but right here, the giant bombs will take out quite a few of his troops. Notice how imp this is important. That expo is on the queen, has to pop her ability, and even so, once she goes out of her royal cloak, the expo will get back on her and take her out. That'll be important for the second attack and how the adjustment's made. Uh, but there go the miners coming in, and uh, you can see he did a pretty good job creating the funnel. Uh, sorry about the notification. Good job creating the funnel, but still they're going to go around to the outside of the base. That inferno compartment's sometimes pretty tough to get miners to go into. I think one of them goes in right there, but it dies pretty quickly. And from there, they're just going to kind of go around the outside of the base here. We'll fast forward a little bit uh, because at this point, it's beyond the point of return. They're not going to target that Inferno. And even though the Inferno is not that powerful against miners, it does do quite a bit of damage over a long period of time. And besides that, there's still a ton of base left up, just normal point defense, which might have been enough for the miners to deal with uh, had the Inferno been down. But the added damage of all of that takes those miners out before they can... Uh, get too deep into the base so pretty solid attack but didn't quite have what it took to get the three star let's take a look at a small adjustment made by Mr. Alec that got the three star all right so Mr. Alec has a pretty similar plan almost identical uh, he goes ahead and drops a few minions here doesn't need it for the miners but it's just a good idea because you're taking out such a high HP building right there the town hall along with a few others that it's good uh, percentage to take out good HP so you don't run out of time on cleanup. So that's always a good idea to do. But anyway, the main point is he comes in with the same kill squad. Now he elects to bring bowlers. I think he brings like six, eight bowlers. So pretty much the same troop space as the Valks took up, but brings that in bowlers. I don't think that made a huge difference. The bowlers don't get out in front as much as the uh, Valks do. So he got a little more value for his golem. But besides that, that wasn't a huge difference. And I don't think that was the one, the thing that made or that made the attack a three star. I think there was an even more important change, which we'll talk about. But anyway, the bowlers go in behind the golem along with the heroes. Everything moves in, has the same jump, same rage, same poisons. Going to take out pretty much the same area of that base initially. But one thing to notice is the point defense surrounding your kill squad. So if you kind of just draw a line as to what the kill squad will take out, which is that, um, along with the bowlers getting maybe a few defenses here, or something as they uh, throw their rocks over the wall. But that's the main uh, area they're taking out. And then you have to look at what point defense is on either side of this flanking your kill squad. And actually, I guess they'll also get the Inferno, so I should go like that. Um, so what point defense is on either side? If you look to the left here, you have the Archer Tower, but it will probably go down to the bowlers anyway. The Cannon and the Tesla, they don't have enough range really to target many of his troops. So compared to the right side, which has the Expo, which is an extremely damaging uh, defense because it has the range and it has the constant high level of DPS coming in. That's really going to be uh, something on the flanks, which you saw took out the queen on the last attack. Also, these two defenses and possibly even the ones up here can be a threat if the troops drift over far enough. But the main thing is that expo. And by sending in his miners like this, which is the adjustment he makes, now the kill squad is going to last way longer. Because once the queen and everything gets in the core here, nothing can really target her. There's no defenses um, in the area, basically. 
this expo is probably the first thing to reach her, but she has to step pretty far out for that to even happen. And because there's not a whole lot of defenses targeting her, um, everything starts to go down, but she's left up and she's able to take out this Inferno Tower, which is huge because the miners don't have to deal with that as they go around. They still have, I think, like three, two, I think, no, three heals, I think. So they, you know, they're able to go through this space pretty easily, especially with all the low level defenses, has the heals just where he needs them, takes out the base pretty easily just on a small adjustment, like changing where he deployed his miners. So let's take a look at the attack and then we'll wrap this up. So here's the attack. You can see his troops are pretty similar. He brings 10 bowlers, so a little more of a troop, of a troop space investment. That's going to be, I think, 60 rather than 48. So just a slight more inv uh, higher investment but that also helps him get deeper in the base and allows his queen to take out that second inferno so anyway uh, has some baby dragons for the funnel the golem the wall breakers to let everything on in his heroes are a little bit higher level which does help uh, but that, i don't think that made the difference either only a very slight uh, level increase on the heroes so the golem the king everything making its way on in has the jump i like the early poison uh, to get that right on that balloon as soon as it comes out to make sure it doesn't do too much damage. Uh, so good stuff there. Uh, there's the second poison to help out in the heroes and stuff. So pops the king's ability. Everything goes on in, gets the inferno tower taken out. The bowlers do some damage. You can see they take out they take out some of these uh, defenses on the bottom here. The uh, all three of those point defense in that compartment. And the miners already coming in, so that expo is distracted. On the last attack, uh, Cotton Eye Joe had to pop the queen's ability right here. He doesn't even need to use the queen's ability yet because the expo has been taken out. Only now is the queen being targeted, has the ability, goes ahead and pops that, and uh, she'll take out the inferno, which is huge. The miners now have not a whole lot to worry about. Still even has a few bowlers up uh, because they sat back behind the golem instead of running out in front like the Valks did. So I guess that's something to keep in mind that the bowlers work better with the golem than Valks do. Uh, but anyway, has that last heal for the miners and uh, really only like three or four defenses left up after these two go down. So uh, that minion, like I said, works in the town hall, helps speed things up, uh, get that HP out of the way before cleanup, saves time. He actually has plenty of time to three-star the space. Miners move in on these last few buildings, and this one's pretty much over. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the attack. Just a small difference for you town hall tens out there when you're thinking about both bowlers or valks what to bring in your kill squad and whether you should bring a golem or not that's one thing we talked about and then also what side to deploy your miners on the best one to help out your kill squad thinking most importantly about expos which play a huge role in taking out your kill squad so how you can use the miners to help out on those so anyway thanks for watching see you guys later bisect the trun out